Hey everyone, my name is Reed. Um, I'm a senior conference ambassador for the summer, so I've been organizing a lot of housing things. And today I'll be giving you a tour of Northwest Quad. Before we head inside and look at the front desk and the other amenities on, uh, like down on the first floor, we'll see kind of where we are on campus. So we're at the end of campus near Garland Garage, which is behind the Northwest Quad. Um, we also have the other buildings that comprise the Northwest Quad around us. So right here, it's gonna be Gatewood Hall, uh, which is right in front of Morgan. Uh, behind Gatewood, which you can't see, is Harding Hall, and then across from Harding, which is that big brick building over there, is Clark Hall. Um, also out here we have Pot Walker Health, um, which is literally right beside Morgan, and then you can see the outside of the Fulbright Dining Hall, which is also right here, which we'll look at in a second. And my name is McKenna Parsons. I'll be filming today's live. I'm an intern for housing. And if you have any questions along the way, send them in the chat. And if you want and you're just now joining, let us know where you're tuning in from. Yeah. So now we'll just go ahead and head inside and get a good look at everything else. You go ahead. Thank you. So right in here is our big common area for the Northwest Quad. This will hold a lot of events. RA events, um, housing events, a lot of different things. But there's a lot of tables, a ping pong table, which you can rent those supplies out from the front desk um, if you want to play ping pong. There's movies and other things. But um, it's okay to come down here and chill and do homework if you don't want to be stuck in your room or go anywhere else. But as you move over, this is where you'll check out ping pong uh, paddles and other things like that. This is the front desk. Um, this is our desk admin, Amy, who will be here and she'll help you Hello. get packages and do a lot of other things, such as if you have key problems, spot problems, or anything like that. Um, but as we keep moving down this hallway, and it's pretty long, um, you have your mailboxes. So with these mailboxes, you'll get a specific code for you. And I think everyone in the quad has their own mailbox, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so with these, you'll have basically a three-digit code that will come in your housing portal. So you come here, you'll spend this however many times it takes for you to open it, uh, and your mail should be in there. If your mail is not in that mailbox, there will either be a key to a bigger mailbox back there if you have a package, or you'll have to go to Amy or whoever's working the front desk or who's the desk out in that day, and they can help you get that settled. Um, we're gonna keep walking this hallway because there are other amenities that we wanna show you that are be really beneficial for you whenever you do live here. Um, but as we're walking that way, the Northwest Quad is a multi-use suite style facility. The complex consists of four residence halls, so we looked at them earlier, which is Clark, Gatewood, Harding, and Morgan. And houses a computer lab, music room, faculty and staff apartments, classrooms, meeting rooms, lounges, and a connected dining hall, which yes. we'll look at some of those things real quick. The dining hall is my favorite part. It's so nice to have that in-building with you. Yeah. You never realize until you're here and you're like, oh, exactly. I wish I had food close by. Exactly. So this is the first thing, this is the computer lab. So if you come in here, we'll just open the door and put up some stuff in real quick. Um, there's a lot of computers that you can use. Um, if you're having trouble with your laptop, we recommend you come in here. But also if you need to print something, this is where you're gonna go. It's very convenient instead of having to go to Mullins or the Union. So right here, you'll type in your username, which is just your email, and then your password, which is the password to your email. Log in, and it'll allow you to print something that op uh, that you uploaded to PrintSmart, and it'll come out right here. Um, as far as I know, it usually doesn't have color, but I think the Northwest Quad may be lucky in that it does have a colored printer, mm -hmm. but I'm not too confident on that. Um, but yeah, that's Computer Lab. To move forward, we'll just go ahead and look kind of at the dining hall. This is right here. Um, so this is Fulbright Dining Hall. This is one of the major dining halls on campus. It's not Pomfret or 1021. Uh, right here, they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're just checking in at that desk right over there, and you're good to go in. It's buffet style, you serve yourself, it's a pretty great time. The other thing that we have, like I mentioned earlier, is a music room. So people are allowed to come over here and have this new music room. If you're into playing the piano or anything else, if you're a music major and you have an instrument that you go to practice with, you are more than welcome to come in here and have a great time. And as People say, I don't want to do my own horn, but you definitely can in this room. Um, <laughs> yeah. I've not heard that before, actually. Okay. I came up with that on the spot. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think the only other thing that we have down here, usually there's a grab and roll option if you're not interested and you don't have time to go into the dining hall. So that'll be basically a big uh, bridge that will have options for you to take. You'll still swipe your card in the front um, of the right. There's two bathrooms right here if you need to use them. And the final thing is just this big meeting room. Um, it's very much 
kind of classroom style do we want to go in? Um, we can briefly if you'd like. So we'll go in here. Uh, sometimes people will host meetings in here. Um, it really just depends. I remember whenever I was in RFC, um, they would hold their like Dogwood or the Northwest Quad. Like RIC people would come in here. Looks there's like there's also, something going on here. Oh, there is, yeah. Um, lead Hogs, RIC, yes. This is a meeting spot in um, in the building that's often yeah. it's used pretty frequently. So if you are in Lead Hogs, you'll most likely meet here if you're in the Northwest Quad. Fun craft. Um, there's a little fun crafts going on, but we'll go ahead and go <laughs> out and show you the room. Um, and some other things that are on the other floors, such as your laundry room and other details. Someone asked, can you only access the building Wait, can anyone, excuse me, can anyone access the building to use the dining hall? Absolutely. Yes, Fulbright yeah. is for everyone and anyone so on campus. So the Morgan um, front door, usually all day when Fulbright's open, is unlocked. Um, but this does not remain true for the rest of the club. So if you live in Harding, um, Gatewood, or Clark, there's no way that people can get into your room uh, or get into the building without uh, having a fob access. Do we want to walk around? I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, and also when you, if you do live in Morgan, it's still pretty secure. We'll show you here in a second kind of what that looks like and how it remains secure throughout the year. Yes. Because um, you got to have a fob to get in almost anywhere that's a housing unit. Yes, um, yeah. So let's here. Okay. Yeah. So this is where fob access is. If you actually live in this building, no one else can access this. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and this is the elevator to Morgan. So an interesting fact about Morgan is that Morgan is also connected to Clark. So I think it's the third floor of Morgan in which there's like a crossover, like a little bridge. Um, and you're able to have access to Clark. But on that floor, there's also uh, washing machine units that like connect the floor um, as well. But that's the only quad. Those are the only two quad buildings that connect. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Awesome, and we're headed to the fourth floor to tour room. Yes. After we look at laundry. Yeah. If you are living on the fourth floor of Morgan, let us know in the chat. Um, another thing about Morgan and all the quads, each of them has a set, um, basically a full, a full kitchen. So it'll have a fridge, it'll have an oven, and a stove. I think in this building it's on the second floor. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty confident it is. Yes. Um, and ice is on. Yes. Three. Um, but as we walk down here and look at laundry, there's a couple of other things that you'll want to look at. Um, more rooms, more rooms. Some great study spaces also on yes. your floor. Yes. So that's the first thing that we'll look at. This is kind of like a, they label it a quiet lounge. I remember coming in here my first year to study. Um, it is very quiet, it has two desks. Um, but you're more than welcome to come in here and study if you don't need a room. It's also chilly in here. It's it is really cold. Um, it's nice. Here's another common area that a lot of people do use. Um, there's a couple of chairs, actually a few chairs. Another desk I remember studying here as well. You can use the TV, the whiteboard. It's got a lot of things to use whenever you're studying. And a nice little view of Garland Parking Garage across the way. Yeah. <laughs> so as we continue down another long hallway track before we go to a room, we're going to show you <laughs> the laundry room and basically everything that's in there. Um, I just want to say the Northwest Quad um, has a capacity of 604 students. So there are a lot of students that live in this building. I will also talk about kind of about my experience living in the quad. So I lived here my freshman year. I lived in Harding Hall. Um, it was a great experience. If you're someone that likes privacy, this is very much for you. You get your own private room and you only share a bathroom with someone. So it's really nice if you are someone that values like being alone at certain points when you're always around people. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is that the housing community here is also really awesome. The RAs are great. They put on really awesome events and other things. Um, it's also pretty accessible to campus. You're not too far from the Union and also the middle of campus, which made it very nice to basically to class if you woke up 10 minutes before class started. Yes. <laughs> um, but here we are. Here is the laundry room. So in here we have five washers and then six dryers. I'm pretty confident that that's the right number. Yep, yep. Um, but you can use all of these, um, but with now the speed clean out. So before you get to campus, we would offer, we would like, please download the speed clean app. 
Um, on there, you can have two washes a week. Um, after you run out of those two washes, it's $1.50 to get another wash and dry. Um, you'll be able to upload those as much as you want, um, but that's completely up to you. But to use the washers and dryers, you'll have to have this Bee Queen Atlas here. Um, and there will be an account already created for you, so just use your UARC um, email and information to sign into that. You don't have to create your own account. Yeah, but that is everything. There's okay. also a laundry room on the floor below us. Yes, yes. there is. Um, that's the hallway that connects Clark and Morgan. Um, and I think it's a little bigger, so there's more washing and dryers, but you still need to be clean for it. Mm -hmm. um, another common area that people like to use. Um, but now we'll go to room 406, which is the room that we'll be showing you today. Um, and we can see if you'll have any questions. Yes, let us know in the chat if you guys have any questions. We are about to head to a room to get measurements. Um, and if you want, let us know where you're tuning in from. Welcome, welcome to York Home Live 2023. We are touring the quad. Yep, yep, and we're in Morgan currently. Yeah, so before we go into this room, I do wanna add that a lot of the quad, everything is very similar. All the rooms are going to look the same except for a different accent wall. Yes. So as you can see in Morgan, the accent wall is gonna be a bright lime green. In Clark, it's a bright orange. In Gatewood, it's a kind of royal blue, and then in Harding, it's like a charcoal gray. Um, so depending on where you're, which room you're in, um, it's kind of based on your accent wall. Mm -hmm. um, so and yeah. the carpets too, right? Do the carpets yeah, change? Yeah, the carpets are different. I think in Harding it's red, in Clark it's also like orange. This one's green. I don't remember what Gatewood is. It's probably blue. Four, five, six is really blue. Someone asked, when do residents get the key fob to enter the buildings? They get it when they check in. So yes. it comes on your keys, kind of, which looks like this, and your fob will come on it, and it will already be programmed to open the doors it needs to open. Someone's from Bryant, Arkansas. Welcome. <laughs> so as we walk in, you kind of come into a common area. Um, it's really nice. So we have this bar right here, and then you get like two bar stools, which match kind of the accent on the wall. You have like a TV stand and some shelves that you put stuff on. One chair right here, a coffee table, another little table if you want to put a lamp on or something like that, a couch, and then a window looking out into the lawn of the Northwest Hall. Let's look out real quick. Yeah, we're right above Fulbright, actually. Yeah. That's the dining hall right down here. Also, welcome from San Antonio, Texas. Fun fact, I really like that these little tables have these tiny drawers. Yes. I don't know why, but they make me happy. So. Yeah. And then another <laughs> thing you'll have is some more storage space if you want to put cups, plates, Anything up here, you totally can. Mm -hmm. um, More storage. We'll go ahead and look at other storage that you get. This is a great spot for a fridge as yes. well. There's an outlet and everything there for you. Yeah, and more storage. You actually get a lot of storage when you stay in the quad, so everyone will get one of these closets. Um, it's a full size closet, it's kind of deep. Mm -hmm. um, you can, there's a shelf to put stuff on, you can put your clothes on there. Um, but yeah. And each person, each person gets one of those. Um, and you also get your own individual key. So you'll be able to lock and unlock it if you don't want the person that you're living with to have access to it. Mm -hmm. um, each person gets their own sink. So there's one sink right here, one sink right here. You can turn the lights on and off. Um, and then here's the bathroom. So the bathroom's interesting. This light always stays on, so don't worry if it, you can't find a light switch for it. Um, there is another <laughs> light. This one you can turn on and off. Yes. Um, toilet. You have a bathtub if you want to take a bath. Mm -hmm. um, and then a shower head. So pretty basic pretty standard. layout. <laughs> yeah. Someone um, asked, um, do corner rooms have more space? I Corner rooms don't actually, mm, they don't really. So it's basically just this room layout. So I lived in a corner room my freshman year. And what those looks like look like is you don't have four roommates. You only have one side. So it would basically be the common area, these two rooms, and then excluding that other side. So you only have two people living Yes, here. so that does not include this wing over here. Yeah. So you won't get any extra space. It's just two less people. Another question we had was, is there a way to know if you're going to get a large desk like this one or a smaller desk? Because some have different Yeah, desks. they're different. So I don't think there is a way to find that out. Yeah. Um, a lot of them have these desks, so you're more likely they probably have a big desk like this. You are more likely, um, yeah. But some of them have not really changed, but there's a way to make the desk bigger. You just kind of squeeze all the things together and it becomes large like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, kind of as we move into the room, I'll look at certain things. So 
and give you measurements. So first thing that we'll look at is this big, also closet-like thing. Beautiful armor. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's 36 inches by 22 inches by 67 inches. Let's open it up. Um, so you have this top where you can hang your work clothes, which is awesome. That's the best part is you have a closet out here yeah. and an armoire in your room. And then you have two drawers down here. So you can put shoes, anything else you want in here. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have a chest of drawers as well. So usually when you move in, they'll be moved under this desk. I, my freshman year, locked this bed up and put this under my bed. Yes, let's um, show these real quick. Yeah, so there's got three drawers, open and close, of course. Um, and also it's pretty big, like it's some of the bigger ones on campus. So you get a chair, and then you get this little kind of side table looking thing, which I also put under my desk. Um, and if you don't, if you don't want these in your room or don't have space, what I did was I put this guy in my closet out there yeah. to have more storage and also create room in my bedroom. Exactly. Um, this chest of drawers is 16 by 22 by 30 inches. The desk is 69 by 39 by 32 inches. Um, and if yeah. you can't grab these measurements as, as we're saying them, we are going quickly. This video is being recorded. It will be yeah. under Reels and on YouTube after this. Um, if you have specific measurements, send them in the chat. Someone asked how high are ceilings. So if we could just go floor to ceiling, yeah. that would be great. All the way up. You see the red dot? Yeah. Is it hiding? There it is. It says 10.3. 10.3, roughly. 10 foot 3 inches. Um, so yeah, it's not a very tall ceiling, but it definitely is something to do. It's not too tall where you feel like it's collapsing. Um, Someone has another question yeah. real quick. Um, is there a way to request the bed to be raised before they get here? Yes, there is. So you can, I think, submit a fix-it request or something like that. Yes. Um, and if you submit the fix-it request, basically it's very simple. Um, form the answer out and you'll just be like, hey, can I get this bed lofted in this room? Um, specifically in the quad rooms, you'll pay attention to the letter that's behind your room number. So this room is 406F. Mm -hmm. So like even when you get a tag, it'll say like 406F. Oh, in your housing portal, yep. Yeah, yeah. So make sure that you get the ending number on there as well because if you just say 406, you'll probably end up getting a bed lofted that doesn't need to be lofted. And if you're asking what is a fix-it request, just search fix-it UARC yes. and it will come up. There's a form and that does have to be filled out before the end of this month if you want it to be lofted before you get here. Yeah. And also to add on to like the room size, the bedrooms are 10 foot 6 inches deep and then 9 foot 10 inches wide, mm. especially, and then also 10 foot 3 inches tall. Um, is there a suite in Morgan that only has three bedrooms rather than two or four? As far as I know, there's not. Um, there's very few that are just two. Everything that is in the middle of the hallway is most likely going to be four. Yes. I haven't heard of a thing three. Awesome. Let me see. Is there a mirror in the dresser on the door? Um, there's not a mirror on this, as yeah. far as I know. No built-in mirror in your bedroom. But there is a mirror on... Yes, the back of the main door. Also, something to point out, this door does not lock because you have two people living in here. Yeah. However, your personal door does lock. Yeah. But this so is the mirror. mirror. Yeah. So you get a mirror back here. Um, and that. So if you want one in your room on the back of those doors, you're more than welcome to bring one and put it on there. Um, but yeah. Someone asked, how do we know which room in the suite is ours? Which he did just kind of address. Yeah, so if you look up here, it says B406F. Mm -hmm. But if we look at this one, this says B406E. So in your housing portal, it'll say exactly that. So there's E and F on this side. And I think either G and H or J and H on the other side. So pay attention to that ending letter so you don't move into the incorrect room yes. whenever you move into your dorm. Someone asked for me to show real quick this wall. My apologies. This is the wall with the desk. I didn't get a good view of that. Um, let me go to the back corner here. And that is the wall with the door. Let's mention the cork board real quick because yeah. these are built in in all of the rooms. So each room will have a cork board. You can put whatever you want on them. I don't remember. I, I put stuff on here. I don't remember what I put on here. If you have a calendar or something like that, very beneficial. Um, but yeah, if you need reminders, and you can yes you can loft your bed yourself at move in yes um or you can put in a fix it request exactly. so but you can do it yourself yes it's pretty easy you yeah. probably need not a hammer what are those called a mallet a mallet perfect thank you and you can as you see here raise them this looks about every three inches 
yeah. um, all the way up and you can get a second one of these double the height and then your bed is lofted all the way up and you can store your desk or chair or whatever you want underneath the bed yeah. if you so please and this twin loftable bed is 84 by 39 by 69 inches as well um awesome yeah um someone asked to explain the room letters again briefly yeah so again, <laughs> we use these letters as an identifier so we know that you're all staying in 406 mm -hmm. so that's the entire room or that's the suite Yes, um, the suite. and then we're looking at for your specific room. So your specific room will be 406 and then a certain letter. Like this person, if I was staying in here, I would be staying in 406 F. Yep. But let's say McKenna is staying in here. She's staying in 406 E. Beautiful. So that's going to be the difference. And you'll know by the fact that there's a letter after that 406. Amazing. All right. If you're just joining, welcome. We are in Morgan and we're touring one of the suites. Um, if you have questions, send them in the chat. Awesome. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that we need to add on here. I'm going to step in this room just so yeah. people can see what the other side's going to look like. It's the same thing, just mirrored. It's just, yeah, flips. And again, for people just joining, can you talk about the wall color difference and which building of the quad they're in? Yeah, so this is Morgan Hall. So Morgan Hall has an accent wall that is going to be a lime green. Mm -hmm. um, each hall has a different accent wall. So Clark is going to be like a bright orange um, Gatewood is more of a royal blue, and then Harding's going to be like a charcoal gray. Um, each of these halls have those accent walls to kind of delineate them, but that's how they're assorted. Beautiful. Someone asked, um, if their bed is lofted, how, how much space under the bed is there? So could we measure the height of this? Yeah, of course. And then also double that for people who are putting their bed yeah, as high as possible. And it does measure from the back oh, here. Cool. Perfect. So put it, yes, beautiful. 34 inches. 34 inches. Awesome. And then usually I remember putting mine on the highest whenever I moved in, and there was really just enough space to put this under it. Mm -hmm. So if that's a good measurement, there was a little room above it to where I could, like, if I had folded clothes, I needed to stick on top of it. Just I like could. this. This yeah. is what it will also look like. So that, if you raise it with your single one here, will fit perfectly underneath. Mm -hmm. And if you double it and you get a second one it'll be not 34 but yeah. 68 inches yeah, exactly. <laughs> can they pick better colors for the accent wall that's that's a great question <laughs> um, i'm not higher up to answer that question or high enough as an individual to answer that question um i can definitely say yeah. that people try to use wallpapers but anymore that is not allowed um, yeah. the accent wall sadly does have to say, stay as it is something I do recommend though. If you are really not vibing with the color, you can either move your armoire over there to kind of cover that wall, or you could get a tapestry and hang it with command yeah. hooks, those types of solutions. Um, with wallpapers, people have good intentions, generally speaking, but peeling them off always creates damage. Even if it says it will not. Yeah. Someone asked um, if they want to bring their own desk chair, will there be somewhere to put the original? So you're not going to be able to move the desk chair out of the room. We do not store those, but you're more than welcome to take that desk chair apart, which is very easy to do, and put it in that shelf in your closet, which is right up here. Yes, your closet would be the space to kind of tuck that away, yeah, but it has to stay the in the suite. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Um, wallpaper isn't allowed at all. Yes, so wallpaper is really not allowed. If you decide to put wallpaper up and it does create damage, which more than likely it will, you will be charged for that. Um, so I guess you are kind of taking that risk, but we highly discourage using wallpaper. Yeah. Someone asked, is a toaster or microwave allowed? Yes, both of them are allowed. Um, you can put your microwave in your room. You can also set it right here. This would be a really good place to put it. Um, but yeah, you can have both. Yeah, so... Um, that's a great spot for your fridge. And what I did is I just put my microwave right there on the counter mm. or your toaster. Toasters are great too. Yeah. Mm, let's see. Any other questions? Did I miss some? Let me check. Can we measure the wall space behind the toilet? Yeah. Okay. So let's go the full width. Beautiful. It is 30 inches. 30 inches. And then from the top of the toilet, maybe, to the ceiling. Six. 
inches. 60 inches. Yeah. And then from the floor? Um, yeah, we can do from the floor. That way you know if, I know there's um, things you can buy that kind of sit above the toilet. They usually fit pretty well in here for shelves. Let's see from the floor it is. It's about 89 inches. About 89 yeah. inches. Also, I'm just going to real quick again show the shower. There is some little spots you can set bottles or you can buy something to hang from the shower head here. Um, yeah. And you're, you've got your poles for your towels, hand rags, those kind of things. Let's see. Yes, toasters are allowed. Um, is an air fryer allowed? No, it's not. It Please is do not bring an air fryer. It's not allowed. <laughs> Can you have a toaster oven? Someone asked. I, I I'm don't not think so. On that, but I don't think so. You, it'll definitely say whether or not you can have it on the housing website. So, uark.housing.edu is a great place to check that out. Um, I just want to add on this. This is where you'll control the air in the building mm -hmm. or in your room. So, awesome. And it is all of. Door. Someone asked, do the shower rods, excuse me, come with the room? They do. And you also get um, just a white plastic curtain for your room. Um, I know I brought a second one to add to this that was a little bit cuter fabric, um, just to kind of bring some energy to the space. But yes, all of the rooms come with a pole and a curtain. And they're actually new curtains as of this summer, so you don't get a nasty old one. Any other questions, you guys? Oh, I see one. Hold on. Someone has been told that the desks in Gatewood are the small ones. Can we verify that? I don't think we know that. I offhand. don't really know. I think, yeah, they're okay. mixed up still. Again, it just, depending on what room you get, like some of them have big ones, some of them don't. Yes. Okay, I'm going to show the living room again because we did kind of pass by here pretty quickly. Got two taller chairs to sit here, a couch, side table, chair, where you can put your TV. It's a great common space for the four of you. Um, should they get an ethernet cable? And if so, how long does it need to be? So you don't have to get one, um, but you most certainly can. Every room is gonna have one of these connections right here. Mm -hmm. So you can put your ethernet cable in this. Um, if you really want to bring one, um, and yeah, that's just really up to you. And it doesn't have to be very long sitting on the desk. Yeah, it doesn't. This moves around, um, mm -hmm. plugged into the wall. So yeah. hope that answers your question. Where are the outlets or plugs in the living room? Someone asked. Room. <laughs> we can come back and do in here though also. So you have two plugs right here and then you have four down here. Two. Four. You have two behind these chairs right here. Two, two, right. two, two yeah. back there. And is there any over here? There's two behind this. Two behind that. Okay, so that's one, two, three on that wall. And then one, and then this is kind of like two, three, because you have four outlets there. Oh, and then there's a set behind this chair. Oh, tons of outlets. There's a set behind the chair as well. Okay. Yeah. Does the suite come with one thermostat? Or one per bedroom. That's a great it's question. It's one thermostat. It's in the middle of the entire. Yes. This is the only thermostat for the entire suite. <laughs> but yes, air does get filtered to your rooms. If I can pop in one of those rooms and show them where that comes out. Let's see. Uh, right above your door, generally. Yes. Can we measure the couch cushions for a cover? Yes, we can. <laughs> um, so this back one. Uh, okay, put your hand over there. Awesome. 67 inches. 67 inches. That's, yeah. Yeah, 67. And then can we go from the top to the bottom and then the bottom out after that? Twenty-two inches. Twenty-one, twenty-two inches, yeah. um, and the depth. 
like from the end to the back. It's hard with the pattern to see what I'm pointing at. Um, 20 inches. 20 inches. And also let's real quick get the edge to the floor. I'm not really sure how couch cushions are measured. <laughs> from here, yeah. 18 inches. 18 inches. So hopefully with all those measurements, you can calculate what kind of couch cover you need. Um, when do they find out what specific bedroom they're assigned to, or do they just pick one at their move-in? Um, it should be in your housing portal, so it's already assigned to you. You can check in and see what letters after that number you have. Yes. Awesome. Um, send any questions in the chat if you're just now joining. We are in Morgan, uh, part of the quad, and we're doing measurements for you guys. I think we've covered them all so far. Let's show real quick in this cabinet, because it comes with some shelving. That's really nice. And can you move those shelves? It looks like you can. Yeah, um, I'm not really sure. It looks like you can. You probably have to unscrew them. Oh, no, you can take them off. Okay. But you'll have to take out the things and the pegs that are in the Hmm, someone asked if there's overhead lights in the living room and bedroom. There, there is. is. Can you flip so, that on real quick? There's that one. There's two right here. One, two in this yeah. hallway space. And there's the light switch right there. And then that light with this light switch and we'll drop into a bedroom and show you the lighting in there beautiful yeah someone asked since they've lost a contract to cox cable is there a way to stream live sports there should be, I don't know. I'm not covered on that actually. Yeah, that no, might that, that might fall on you and having the right subscriptions. Um, I know it's got HBO now. Okay. Um, so I don't really know what that, how that'll change things, um, but you can definitely oh, see. Oh, we have another awesome question. It says they have two letters after their room assignment. What does that mean? So sometimes it'll be like a BF or like an A, yeah. So you'll have a B or something like that in front of your letter just something like that the only letters that are going to dictate someone dictate something are going to be i think it's e and f over there and h and j yeah so look for an e f h or j and that's going to be the letter and i'm not sure the order but if there is a second one um disregarding the one at the front it might be specifying your wing yeah so g here versus yeah. a. a here okay um, is there a way to know our room location on the first floor? So yes, so in your housing porty, yeah. portal, you should have a diagram of the floor mm -hmm. and you can kind of see where on the floor you are at. Um, let's show a desk chair. Someone asked us to look at that. Drop in here. These are the typical chairs that come in, I think most yeah. of the dorms. Sometimes they're different, but yes, this is a desk chair. Um, someone asked to measure the window in the bedroom. Yeah, so I actually have that measurement right here. Awesome. Um, the window of the blinds is 37 by 57, so. Perfect. Um, if you're just joining, welcome. Uh, will we show and measure the desk chair, please? Yeah, so we showed it. Um, maybe get some, some type of measurements. Yeah, here. it's 23 by 21 by 33 inches. Awesome. I love that we have that sheet, it makes it quick and easy. And if you don't catch that when we're saying it, like I said, you can watch this afterwards on Reels um, on this account or it'll be uploaded on YouTube later this week. Yeah. Is there a fire alarm in each bedroom? Um, there's definitely a sprinkler, right? Yeah, there's definitely a sprinkler in every bedroom. There's definitely like every, not every room has like a audio type of fire alarm, but there was probably a light in each room. So, yes, I think the answer to their question is yes. Yeah. Let's check in this one over here. Because you also have, you've got, oh gosh, this one. You will definitely know if there's a one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let you know. Smoke detector, that's a sprinkler. Smoke yeah. detector and sprinkler. Thank you for that specification. It's, it's relatively loud. I, you'll be able to know if the building's sleeping. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm, mine is AA after the number second floor. Hmm. So, AA. Um, is probably going to mean you're in this side, the side A, and then the room A, I think. <laughs> um, can you tell us the cork board measurements? Oh, yeah. Okay, back again. Here we go. It's a good question. And again, if you want to, you can kind of cover this in fabric. Um, 
you want it to look a little cuter. I know a lot of people put photos. They might put cards. There's lots of options. So top to bottom. 34 inches. Okay. I think like a 23, 22. 22, 23. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're going to cover it in fabric, bring a little bit extra just in case. Yeah. Any other questions, you guys? Mm hmm. I'm gonna show the mirrors here because we haven't spent a lot of time here. This light goes on. Let's turn it on. Yes. So that's your above sink lighting. There's some counter space here and then storage under the sinks. These are not drawers. That is where the sink is, but underneath the cabinets on both sides. Looks, looks like that. Pretty intuitive. Huh. Great timing. Someone just asked show under sink cabinets. Boom. A lot of people bring little shelves or drawers, maybe buckets, depending on how you want to store what you're storing underneath the sinks. Laundry room on what floors? So there's actually a laundry room on the fourth floor, which we're on, and then there's a laundry room. Is it the second or third floor? For this building, it is floor three. Yeah. If it connects to Clark, and on Clark, that it's two. two. <laughs> so in Morgan, it's going to be four and three, and then in Clark, there's uh, some on two. Um, do all the quads have cabinets under the sink? Yes, they do. Yes. Great. Every quad room is going to look exactly like this, unless it's a two-person. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then in that case, there's just not this one side. Yeah. Awesome. Let me get another angle of this living room, because why not to the front door, since I haven't done that. This is what that looks like. And I think we're about to wrap it up, you guys. So if you have any last minute questions, um, send those in the chat. <laughs> Again, this is where the fridge goes. Um, do you know the rules in regards to having a fridge in your room? Can every person yeah, have one? Yeah, everyone can have a fridge in their room. Um, if you get like a micro fridge or something like that, uh, those will just come in your room. So if you're ordering something like that, I have a fridge in my room, my freshman year, so. Yes, sweet, awesome. <laughs> well, okay, let's sign off. Thank you guys for joining uh, York Home Live 2023. This was the Northwest Quad. Um, Woo Pig Suey, any yeah. last words? Woo Pig, have a great time. <laughs> Can't wait to see you up here. Bye. Yes.